what we a lot of what you'll get out of this is in density and distribution mm -hmm. to see whether or not these form any patterns mm -hmm. because it's not just a matter of saying oh here's a field walk square if you've got those two bits from one square and let's say those two bits over there from another square that's high density yeah. so that tells you ooh, you know if there's two bits here or four bits in two squares that really really is a density if they're a little bit more random it might mean and it probably does mean that a lot of the, the materials been spread around and, and what have you and of course you're dealing with slope movement and soil and all the rest of it moving around but that, I think, is the, the crucial thing. If, and, and it may well be that that might be an important part to bring out when you talk about it. Not just the pieces, because I can't turn around and say, oh, there's three arrowheads, two scrapers, and what have you. There are, there are bits of work flint. They're all principally the same sort of technology. They're all blade technology. So I think it's yet more of this Mesolithic material that we're getting all over but this is the first opportunity for us to get some sort of handle on the distribution of it all the other stuff is a bit here a bit there even the bits that we're getting in the trench uh, we've probably got more bits in the trench than you've got laid out here <laughs> But that's because we're in a trench and we're hand excavating and we're finding individual bits. That's a very biased sample. This is totally unbiased. This is people just walking over, picking up bits. So this is a, a much better reflection of what's going on in that field than anything else. And so what you would then do is once you've gone over and you've done this coarse coverage, you then refine that do a more detailed uh, density plot or what have you and then maybe in the long run you might want to put a trench in and see whether you're not your those would be the the progression but what you're doing here is just stage one and that's mm. crucial mm. and then like, sorry i was going to say lay that distribution over the geophysics yeah. and see how it relates to the paleo channels because that is why these people were here. I'm convinced this is where they're, the, they're here for the fresh water and the access down to the beach and they're just going down the little valley to get there. Absolutely. So we've got a selection of basically Mesolithic stuff. Yep. Um, and we've got blades. It's a blade technology. That's what they're, that's what they're really... That's what, and, and you know, I don't know quite... You could, you could go through and you could do a quick straw poll and and you don't have to be a great mathematician i mean a blade is twice as long as it is broad mm -hmm. so you know that's going to be a blade yeah. that's going to be a blade that's almost certainly going to be a blade that's almost certainly going to be a blade those two are going to be blades in there you could then turn around and say we have got 24 yeah, yeah. pieces of work flints a 50 of them of 15 of them are blades or whatever that would be a seriously high proportion of blades you don't get that sort of proportion of blades accidentally no. so i mean it's the sort of thing that any of these these people can do just just sit there and you know just measure them approximately twice as long as it is broad it's a blade and then just tally up and see what you get yeah. um you you know some bits you you, you might you might find her snapped they're broken so you've got to be a bit bit careful about that but you can see like i said to you one two three four five six six blades without even i ain't even, I ain't even looked at the rest so you can see them brilliant Thanks.